There's a saying that if you have a truck and trailer, you should never go hungry. And since we're falling on economic hard times and it's tough to put food on the table for a lot of people, I wanna talk about quite a few different ways that you can put food on the table and you can make up to $1,000 or more a week with just this one simple thing added to your portfolio, and that is a trailer. For a while, I've talked about the dump trailer hustle, I've talked about the truck hustle, I've talked about a lot of ways to make money with a pickup truck. I've had multiple trailers over the years, and they've proved themselves worth every penny. I just picked one up the other day. It was actually sitting in the back pasture, hadn't moved in about 15 years, had zero tires on it, I and mean, they were shredded, probably had a thousand hornets living in it. And my mom was like, get that thing out of the back pasture or I'm gonna scrap it. And I was like, whoa, I'm gonna go put two brand new tires on this thing and I'm gonna put it to work. So that's what I did. I went, pulled it out of there, got it going and got two brand new tires, 300 bucks for the tires. I know that's a lot. I could have gone and got some used ones, but you know what, hey, I wanted it to be ready to go from now on, and that's what I did. I don't like May Pops. May Pops, they may pop, and I didn't want them to pop. I had to add trailer light kit to it, but that was like 25 bucks, and we were rocking and rolling. I found an old toolbox that happened to been sitting out beside the barn for years. Put it on there. Found me some old field fence, putting it along the edge. Using pieces of wire and zip tie. That way junk doesn't blow out of it. Found this laying in the bushes. Putting this right there. It's gonna be a thing. I had some scrap lumber that I found out of the pile and made me a little platform and I was rocking and rolling. So for about 350 bucks, I had me a trailer that was rocking and rolling. This one actually had a 3,500 pound uh, axle on it. But you can pick trailers up all over the place. Before COVID, they were a lot cheaper, but now they've gotten a lot more expensive. You usually buy like a 10 by 12 or 8 by 12 or 8 by 10 trailer at Lowe's, probably around 15 to 2,000 bucks, 1,500 to 2,000. So you can find them and Harbor Freight has the cheap ones and the foldable ones. So it's really depending on what you're trying to do. If you watched my old trailer build from back in the day, I got that one for 200 bucks. It was basically an old boat trailer that I converted into an actual trailer that you could haul things with. And it worked great too, but this one is far and above what I need it to do. There are all kinds of ways to make money with these. For me, it added utility to my portfolio. I was using it to flip houses. I was using it to haul lumber. I was using it to do a lot of things. And the more I used it, the more I talked to my friends with actual businesses and trailers, the more I just started to brainstorm. And I think everybody should, should know this. So like mine just sits in the side yard until I need it. My mother-in-law was constantly borrowing my truck and I was like, you know what? If I put that thing over there, she can have at it and not borrow my truck. All those people want to borrow your truck to move. Well, the utility of the utility trailer solves that problem. The first type of business that you could actually start really easy with this trailer is a lawn service business. Going out, cutting grass, there's no way you'll be broke as long as you got a lawnmower and you put it on the back of this and a weed eater and you'll be up and running. I see many a guys running around, get you a few yards, and it, whether you do it professionally, like from sun up to sundown, or you just do three or four a week for some extra pocket change, it's entirely up to you. I've got a lot of friends that started power washing companies with the, these trailers. Um, you can put you a couple of power washing tools on there and get to work, and the rest is up to you, whether you're hauling your water or not. You're gonna have to figure that out in your business, but power washing is quite, <laughs> if you do it right, can be quite lucrative, depending on how big or little you wanna be. Um, I got a buddy that actually started a power washing course and became a multimillionaire just by teaching it. So don't tell me you can't make a lot of money power washing, it's just up to your entrepreneurial skills. So the next one is uh, auto detailing. Come on, you can put you, uh, all your, you can put all your tools on the back of that trailer, go and find where people's cars are and actually do it on the fly as a mobile uh, car deal detailing service. It's entirely up to you. It's just another idea to put off of it. The next one is a handyman service. I've got lots of friends that are handymen. 
They put their tools on their trailer and they go to their job, whether it's doing something, everything from painting or just fixing squeaky wheels or squeaky hinges all the way to plumbers and roofers and contractors. Fence builders, you can haul plenty of your fence <laughs> lumber with it. I've got a buddy that has a, um, a Pathfinder uh, car and he doesn't have a truck. The trailer added that capability to him not having to go buy another car. Uh, and now he does all his renovations on his houses with that little trailer, throws his lumber and everything he needs on the back of it, and he rolls out. I mean, he does everything from renovating bathrooms to painting to, to going to get two by fours and two by sixes and plywood, and there's nothing stopping him. He's got this old junk trailer that he found uh, and he fixed up, and he is just nonstop. I got another buddy that had one he called Little Squeaky. It was just a old water trailer. Like it was basically like what you would haul like water tanks with and he put a platform on it and he used it for years until somebody uh, ran into the back of it and destroyed it. It was actually pretty hefty because the axles were big enough to haul water. So, you know, it proved to be pretty, pretty versatile. Also, a great way is when you've got that neighbor, friend, whoever, acquaintance that's got that washing machine that they need delivered or taken away. That's another thing that you can do is, is appliance removal and, and, and delivery. Uh, I don't know how many times people ask me because I have a truck, hey, can you bring this to my house? And I usually charge one case of beer, but you could easily say, yeah, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 75 bucks. And you go and do it or you like especially with me as a real estate agent they're selling this 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 house there's a washer and dryer in it nobody wants it and you're able to remove it for them put it on your trailer and you could even go list it on facebook marketplace right after that of course if they give you permission and just get rid of it and uh make 50 or 100 bucks plus the removal like there's all kinds of ways hot water heaters are always needing to be getting out of there or getting rid of the, the old toilet that they're throwing out or or scrap whatever there is just so many ways to use this thing and that really just kind of takes me into a delivery from Home Depot to somebody's house, Lowe's to somebody's house. You're going to have to come up with a business plan on that because liability and I know everybody's going to say in the comments, oh, the DOT requires. I'm just giving you the broad concept here. It's up for you to skin the apple, not for me to do it. But I'm trying to give you the concept that there are multiple, multiple ways to make money with that little stinky trailer out there. And uh, uh, however you do it, you do it with my little Tacoma and that trailer. I can haul 4,000 pounds, no problem. I went and delivered my own stock tank from Tractor Supply the other day with it, and uh, no problem. It's just adds so many things that I can do. I've take, taken multiple loads to the dump, cleaning out our yard, my mom's yard, my mom's house, the last flip I had, the last... Uh, uh, rental property I had using this trailer to just get the junk out of the yards out of the house no this would have no problem clearing out stuff from a hoarder or whatever yeah if you're doing like 3,000 square feet you need a dump trailer but it is possible to make a few more loads with this little trailer also you need to go out and think about how you're going to uh, uh, make this trailer yours are you going to add big sides to it and it can hold more stuff? Or are you gonna just keep it a flatbed and be able to roll a golf cart on and off or a lawnmower or whatnot? Um, for me, I haul my golf cart with it, no problem. And it just you know adds that one more thing to, to my kit bag. And the last ones is landscaping. And of course, I talked about fences. Um, there's no problem hauling uh, landscaping and, and stuff for your fences with this trailer. Whether you're doing sodding or you're doing rocks and gravel or anything like this, this trailer I got <laughs> 350 bucks in could make tens of thousands of dollars a year for any little company. I've got a, a buddy that how he, if you watch the video about the dump trailers, he got that thing for four grand, pulls it with his truck, and he just makes money every day by letting roofers and all these people fill it up and taking it to the dump. It's totally up to you how you do it, what size truck, what size trailer you get, but this is something that will put food on the table, especially if you're a scrapper. Scrappers are all over our side of town every day before trash. 
or every week before trash day, they're out there picking up everything they can to go take it and make a little extra dollars. And, uh, you know, it's totally doable. It's just up to you to put it uh, uh, in action and get out there and do it. So I talked about the different businesses. Now I want to talk about putting all those together. See, I have a friend and I've watched him do this for many years. He has the trailer, started out as just being utility for him. As he's going, somebody's like, hey, can you haul this debris off for me? Cool, let's say it's sawdust, and he's hauling the sawdust out of somebody's house. He calls a, uh, somebody else, he's already gotten the 200 bucks to haul the, sawd off, or the, the sawdust off. He's got another person that wants the sawdust. He sells the sawdust to them, he gets 200 over here, sells it to them for 200, makes $400 out of one trip. And then, you know, he's also using it for his handyman service, which it's just thing on top of thing on top of thing that these things can do for you. And on the weekend, he's all on his Harley with the same trailer. There's just so many things that it adds to, and, and that's what you want to do. One, you start out with utility. Two, you start a business. Three, you figure out how to compile multiple things, multiple businesses into this trailer. And there's no reason why you can't pay your mortgage or you can't put food in your uh, money in your pocket for food or for that extra little you know vacation you want to have with a trailer. You pick the size; it's up to you. And that's what I really wanted to talk about today. I want to talk about me, my latest trailer. Uh, uh, idea and, and getting it and fixing it up and putting in the action and I'm actually talking about what I actually did. I use mine all the time. <laughs> you see on this channel everything from hauling stuff for my latest rentals or flips or cleaning out properties or cleaning out you know the 20 or 30 acres my mom has that I'm trying to <laughs> always keep up with or hauling the golf cart or whatever. A trailer is just something that is awesome, and I didn't really know it until I've had my last two or three trailers, and it, I will always keep a trailer. <laughs> it doesn't eat, it just sits there. It costs me about $30 a year to have the tag, and if I need to go do something, I just hook it up and take off. But that's it, comment down below if you've got any good ideas how to use a utility trailer or whatever it does for you. And I'll see you on the next video. Pretty excited about this, see you later.